Hey, this is Billy from Billy Vega Scale Model Garage. Um, this is my 1967 uh, Camaro low-budget drag car. Uh, it's based on the Reveal um, SS kit. Um, I went ahead and changed it back to basically a baseline uh, Camaro, something you would see on the drag strip um, circa 1980s. So, in order to do that, I had to change the grill. And uh, basically, just took and uh, whittled the center out the grill and used a model car garage um, photo etch grill and um, used the, the photo etched emblem and uh, punched the, um, the turn signal uh, lights out of a, a AMT kit so I could put those back on there. So basically, I was able to get this back to a baseline Camaro and there's a base baseline uh, Camaro emblem uh, decal on the side of it with the with the photo etch emblem and um, basically it's got some cancer on it and um, so I got some rust bubbling up on the uh, on the wheel wells and was able to do that with super glue something that I saw in an article and we got some rust coming through on the rear quarter panel and this was one of my first weathering jobs. A buddy of mine showed me how to do this with uh, with the textured paint and weathering powders. A good friend, Robert Doss. And uh, old steel wheels in the front, same color as the car. Like I said, low budget. Just use what you got. Um, got some banded resin um, widened rallies on the rear. Something like they would have done. Like I said, something get some slicks on, get some extra get some uh, extra grip and um, like I said circa 1980s so of old uh, snorkel hood scoop primered red oxide and throw the old spoiler on it red oxide and you can see my rear license plate patched because that's what well, patch is actually because that's basically what it is it's patched and the gas cap I actually made uh, body color or whatever because that's what a baseline Camaro would have had um, done some rather good well on of my hood um, weathering on the chassis um, again textured paints uh, pastels weathering kit chains this is I don't think this is legal today but actually in the 80s I actually did see some cars at the strip that was using pieces of logging chain for dry shaft safety loops by no, no means is that legal today I don't think um, there's a big block it's 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 leaking the oil rear seal leaking on the transmission um, rear, rear seal leaking on the rear differential uh, the traction bars came from the uh, 68 68 Firebird uh, kit by Ravel. And we can see the headers all rusted up. Got some photo etch collectors on it. And the front suspension all greasy and grimy. Uh, interior just got one one seat up in there. I don't think we'll be able to see it too good. Yeah, there we go. Duct tape. And um, sponsor decals on the rear window. Um, let me see if we can get a good picture of this engine here. And there's the engine. If you actually look on the, in the front there, right below the water neck and the intake, there's a bead of blue silicone. How often did you see that back in the 80s? A blue silicone gasket maker. Uh, resin, four barrel holly. There's the Axel Super Coil, Yellow Jacket wires, uh, inner fender wheels taken out. That's one of the first things everybody done. Alternator wires, throttle return spring. Got the brake lines coming from the master cylinder. Got the brake lines going to the front wheels. Uh, paint, old lacquer paint wearing thin to the primer. 
I've been sitting out. And I think 1270s was was pretty moderate and modest for the car. Anyway, um, like I said, basically a low budget drag car. And uh, a lot of, a lot of people like it. Like they hit home with a lot of people, you know, saying it was it was realistic. Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And this is Billy Vega signing out.